Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our My Medical Choice presentation. Um, this is an, a really important presentation. I cannot um, stress enough how much uh, everyone needs to understand what's going on here and what's available uh, to give as much protection as possible to yourself or your family. Um, I'm going to hand over now to Lisa. Um, and Gio is also uh, with us. There are two team members who've set this up and done an incredible job of it. And uh, hopefully Lisa should be able to share um, her screen now. Good evening, everybody. It's lovely to see you all here. And um, yeah, I I hope you can see this. I'm not very good at the technical side of things, but can we get up? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. We're off to a good start. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to have, have everybody here tonight because to me, I just think um, this is one of the best and most affordable services we have um, at our fingertips. Um, so my medical choice, um, what is it? It's a medical alert system designed to keep its members safe from unwanted medical treatments and procedures, including uh, blood transfusions and vaccinations, even when unconscious or unable to communicate. So I'm going to walk us through this presentation that I put together, but um, just a little bit, bit of background from my point of view, personal point of view. I joined my medical choice, I think it was in October 2021. So that was after 18 months of fighting against lockdowns, mask mandates, fake tests, and the vaccine rollout. So, you know, with so much corruption and evil in the world, I I couldn't sleep. I, I often woke up in the middle of the night worrying about what would happen to my family, to myself, if we were involved in an accident um, and we can speak for ourselves. So I'm sure you've all been there. It's um, a huge worry. And, um, you know, I just kept thinking, how can I protect my bodily autonomy and also ensure that I give informed consent uh, for any treatment that, that's required if I'm not um able to speak for myself so i found my medical choice it just launched uh thank god and um, i just felt a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders um and it and it literally gave me the tools and educational materials i needed to protect myself and my family um so i just see it as an insurance policy um hopefully one that you'll never need but if you do you know that you've got the systems in place. So that's why I've called it the ultimate insurance policy. To me, it really is. Um, and it's there's two systems involved in my medical choice. Um, we've got the emergency medical alert system. Now, in an emergency situation, physical tools like the medical alert, jewellery tags, and a wallet-sized advanced decision notice will come into place. The advanced decision notice is like a living will. Um, and that will alert, if that's a physical tool on your person or in your wallet, then it will alert first responders and A&E staff um, to access your online medical profile. Um, so as soon as that medical profile is accessed, um, your designated emergency contact, um, and you can have up to two, will be alerted by an SMS alert. And they can com communicate then your wishes um, to the medical staff. Um, so that's quite a big thing. Um, through your medical profile that you're going to set up once you've joined, you can provide details of medical conditions, medications you're on, allergies, um, food intolerances, implants and devices that may affect Im uh, your situation in a medical um, emergency, um, as well as your medical care directives regarding treatments and procedures you may wish to reject. So in addition to that, you can also choose to appoint an attorney to oversee um, treatment according to your wishes or you, if you're unable to communicate and that's using a court approved lasting power of attorney. So all that documentation will be provided for you to complete uh, once you've registered. Another great service is the safe blood system. So um, 
This is for those people who choose to reject NHS donated uh, blood or blood related products um, should a transfusion be required. It includes a pre-op consultation pack um, which can be used in surgical consultations, uh, at consultation appointments as well, which empowers you to understand your rights and your treatment options uh, in agreeing a, a course of action going forward. Educational materials regarding non-blood alternatives and blood surgery um, are available in the form of videos and blogs. Um, there is a system designed to help members in organising their own compatible donor if required. In addition, there's a Safe Blood Donor database, um, not something I'd use, but it's there should you, like, should you want to use it, and also advocacy services in case things don't quite go to plan. So let me move forward. On registration as a member of uh, My Medical Choice, so. Initially, as soon as you register, you will receive an email, including a welcome pack, which contains a number of documents. Uh, there's a wealth of information in there. First of all, dealing with medical gatekeepers. We all worry about that, don't we? Um, you know, um, there's the people <laughs> that don't quite um, agree with our views and uh, and it can be quite traumatic dealing with those I should imagine I've not had the misfortune well actually I have it yeah you know in December 2020 my husband um I remember dropping him in A&E sorry I'm going a bit off course here but it's it's a, it's a story that's just popped into my mind but um my husband Nigel um in December 2020 uh, he had uh, he had chest pains uh, on the advice of a, a GP friend, he said, get him down to A&E. So I dropped him down there. But of course, I couldn't go in with him. Um, I didn't see him for 23 days and he came out after a triple bypass. Um, so it's all very, very traumatic. No idea what was going on. Um, it's just horrendous. And, you know, if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. So... There's guidance there to deal with the medical gatekeepers and to make sure that you're empowered as the individual to deal with these situations. Um, also included in that welcome pack are details of our uh, My Medical Choice partners, including PHA, um, the Autonomy Hotline, um, I think Push Come to Shove is in there. So some great information about um, partners that you can lean on as a member. Uh, there's also an advanced decision notice template. Um, and again, that's that's like a living will, and that's what you'll carry in your wallet um, and will be accessible by um, the first responders and A&E should, should they need to do that. And also there's a consultant appointment pack. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail on the next slide there. So the consultant appointment pack, I mean, I think this is incredibly value, valuable to members. So this is not the awful situation if you're, you know, involved in an accident, you can't speak for yourself, you need somebody to, to speak for you. This is if you've got um, a medical condition and you need a surgery or you need treatment. So um, this is to guide members in that situation. Uh, and again, it's all about empowering the member to deal with um, the NHS in this country. Um, this is adaptable to other countries, obviously, but for us, it's how do we navigate that system and know our rights, first and foremost, and um, you know, have the confidence to deal with the medical professionals because we're raised, aren't we? Let's be honest. We're born, we're raised to trust the um, the, the doctor in the white coat and, and think that, that they know best. So we know better. Trust is gone. And um, this is a, a, about empowering ourselves uh, with, with the knowledge to deal with people. So that's all in your pre-op guide for members. There's also a pre-op guide for consultants, which I think is brilliant. So just in case they didn't realise that we have rights, <laughs> we can educate ourselves and we know what we're talking about and we're capable of making choices. 
there's a little guide there just to help them come up to speed with where we're at. Um, there's also a blood decline transfusion policy, which uh, um, this is an example from an NHS trust, I think it's Portsmouth. Um, and all NHS trusts have different, slightly different policies. So I think in, in your own situation, you'd have to look that up. But, but this basically, again, educates you in your rights when it comes to declining trans blood transfusions. So it's valuable information to empower you. And finally, there's a consultation follow-up. Should your consultation, pre-op consultation, not go to plan? So it just gives you some um, advice and recommendations and also um, a, a, an example of an email you could send. Were you unsure about certain things you've discussed or you felt that there was some um, barriers there, then this gives you guidance on how to deal with that and, and go to the next step so that you get the medical um, treatment that you want and not what they recommend. So once you register, um, there's a number of online forms and some information that you'll see. Um, first of all, you will be asked to include uh, to to fill in your medical profile. As I said before, you can put in uh, any medical conditions, any um, uh, things like um, you know any allergies. Uh, any devices, medical devices that you have, any medications that you're on. So you fill in your medical profile. That's what will be accessed uh, first and foremost by first responders and the A&E staff when they, um, when they find out that you're wearing a tag or you've got that in your, your ADN in your wallet. Um, Emergency contacts, I mentioned, you've got up to two, so you fill that in, you put them on, on your profile. Uh, there's, there's advice and recommendations for creating your medical alert tags. I'm assuming you can see me on the side, I'm not sure, but um, that's what I'm wearing here. Um, there's all different ones that you can choose from. Um, there's also an advanced decision notice template, as well as a, an advanced decision notice letter for you to send your ADN to your GP. And again, the story, when I did it two years ago, um, I sent the letter off to my GP, expecting them to just put it on my records. And um, they called me in, which I was surprised about. So it was around December, November, December 2020, and I thought, they're going to try and uh, convince me to take a certain thing. Uh, but it wasn't. It was about that. They just wanted to discuss with me. Was I sure that, you know, the things I was opting out with, uh, out from, I was absolutely sure about. And I understood the repercussions of my actions, which, of course, I did because I was probably more clued up than they were at the time. Um, then there's a lasting power of attorney template to help you through that process. There's a safe blood national donor database, uh, which you can join. Um, so basically what that means is you're including yourself on that database as a safe blood donor. If something happened, um, you could be matched to somebody within that database and contact made. There's also an opportunity on, uh, then to pre-arrange um, private donor details. So if you have a compatible donor that you want to um, secure on your profile, that's, there's, there's a system to do that. And finally, uh, there's videos and blogs to actually walk you through all of these steps that are really helpful. Um, so that's on registration. How much does it cost? Honestly, it's £25 per annum. And for everything you get, I just think it's it's the cheapest insurance policy you'll ever buy. Um, I was writing an article on this because I absolutely love, love, love my medical choice. I think it's amazing. And um, I did a quick tally up of, of the insurance I pay from pet insurance to house contents, car. Uh, you know, 
all of the insurances that we pay, private health, um, we pay over £5,000 a year in insurance policies, which, which just blew my mind anyway. But the point is, this is £25 per annum. Um, to me, it is just, it's just so valuable. It is literally, um, you know, priceless to me. Um, so it's £25 a year um, and we do actually have a code where you can, which you can use um, at the moment is PHA MMC and you get £5 off. So it's £20 in your first year, £25 thereafter. Um, we're going to open up some Q&A in a minute. Uh, I would just say to you, I'd like to take you through quickly, if I can again share my screen to do this, but just run you through the website because a lot of, of the questions you're probably going to ask will be on, answered on the website already. So if I can just share this. Oh, there's the um, decline of blood transfusions from Portsmouth that I was looking at earlier. Let me just stop sharing. Is everyone still seeing me and hearing me? Hope so. Hope I wasn't talking to myself then. Could have been. Um, if I just share my screen again and put you on the website, I just think this is the easiest way to show you. Oh, I might struggle. Now. Wrong one. Right, let's try this. I do apologise. My technical abilities are really poor, but um, we kind of get, we go along the best we can. Share my screen. Okay, can we see that? Hopefully you can see that. So when you log on to the website, this is what you'll see. And um, that's the home page. As you can see up here, there are frequently asked questions. And I've got to say, I just think that these, um, they're, they're so concise, uh, you know, they, I, I think that they're pretty much thought of everything. You can prove me wrong, but I think you've got most things on here um, down to what services are provided, finding out your blood type, how to, uh, can anyone donate, all those kind of things. I think everything has been We've been through things with a fine tooth comb, and I think we've got a really good set of frequently asked questions here. Um, so that's all on there. Um, there's the blog, which has got lots of educational information. It's got the um, videos short, and they're all short videos, so they're not going to bore your pants off. They're like to the point few minutes long and what happens in case of emergency how do I join you know really good uh, easy things the safe blood system how does it work the consultation pack a brief um, presentation on on how it works um, just makes it so much easier um, so you've got all of these things in your blogs and videos and um, let me just move them to top and then, I because I'm obviously a member, I just thought you will see all that when, when you log on to the website. What you don't see is what happens afterwards. So if I just show you um, my almost back office, if you like, uh, this is once you've joined. So what you will see here is now this passcode here is what will go on your medical alert um, tag and in your wallet. So any, um, anybody wanting to access your information will use that passcode on mymedicalchoice.com. And as soon as they do that, um, the alert will be sent to your emergency contact. It's really clever, actually. Um, so down here, you can see I've got my, there's a, da there's a user guide, how to fill everything in. This is my medical profile, my personal information including your blood, blood group, et cetera. Um, 
we've got uh, medical guardian information, those are your emergency contacts. Here we've got details of uh, the jewellery or tags. See, this is what's on the back of my tag here that I wear around my neck and I never go anywhere without this. So as you can see, it's got the website um, that they can put in and then they have to enter that passcode. It's got my name, my date of birth, and this is my emergency contact. Uh, number that's my husband's phone number so they can contact straight away excuse me and then we've got a number of companies that, that do these tags so there's lots of choice there's all kinds of costs involved from you know very little to your gold diamond encrusted not diamond but you know you've got you've got a wide range of things and there's something for everybody um Back to my account, that was the jewellery. Um, there's your advanced decision notice. So the templates in there that you can fill in and store. Lasting power of attorney, same thing, lots of advice um, and a template to do that. And this is where you can register yourself on your availability as a blood donor. Now I've registered on that. I wouldn't personally, uh, take blood from somebody on that database because I call me cynical. I don't know, do I, for 100%. So I wouldn't do, but I, I know who I am and I would definitely offer that to somebody else if, if they needed it. Uh, additional information, this is where you can set up your pre-arranged donors and also this is the template letter for your GP. Um, so that was just a quick run through the website which hopefully will make it a bit clearer when you come to have a look at it yourself um let me just stop sharing hopefully all that information has been helpful to people um i'd love to bring geo in at this point because i've been hogging hogging the show so far um and geo um what do you what how did pha let's do that one first how did pha and mmc stop, uh, come to partner hello uh basically well i'm sure most of you know what the pha is about already um the, the clues in the name health so we kind of help people with health in different uh, aspects obviously the pha we're trying to find the best way of helping people with health issues be it mental health physical informed medical choices like Lisa mentioned and um, we came across well Lisa actually was a, is a member of my medical choice so we started looking into them and as we started looking into them we were fascinated they're fantastic what they were doing they've got a great team and as we got to having our discussions my medical choice were trying to set up something along the lines of a PHA believe it or not and the PHA would try to do something like my medical choice so why reinvent it just join we got talking and our ideas aligned it's fantastic so slowly we we took it from there it's come to this um as i said they've got a great team with a unique skill set i've learned so much from them uh, about working with them and uh, but yeah that's one of the things that uh, coming into it that's what we did and it was fascinating one of the things i would say if some people do ask is what would happen god forbid let's say you're taken to hospital and there was a power cut so the website went down what would happen because not saying it would happen, but if it does, the um, the people will carry the L, uh, lasting power of attorney and an ADN in their wallet. And uh, so these things, and they can still text anyway. Hopefully the phone systems aren't now. They can still text anyway. So there's always ways, even if the systems go down, there's always ways of the hospital having to follow your directive, what you've chosen, what you've decided to go with. So that is an important thing to remember as well. So really what it's all about is peace of mind and speed at the end of the day the speed of help because you go to hospital different boroughs don't all talk to each other different uh, hospitals so if you they can call up your system saving time they can look at your data saving time see what you're after and also they don't bother you when you're in that confused state constantly pestering you this that the other so everything is done quick smooth and that's why we love it so much that's one of the reasons we're really into it because it's you don't need that, do you, if you're in a hospital and something's happened or in shock and the 
bombing bombarding you with questions you just uh, yeah yeah you don't even know what you're saying so we've you know they've covered that with this so it's that peace of mind really that it gives and the speed to get things done which is very important yeah thanks shall we open up to q a and I think yes, so there just... is a question in the chat that's not been answered yet, which is, um, what if you haven't done an LPA yet as you have no family? Can you still join and do that later? Is that possible or not? Yeah. When you join, you can go through the process of doing the LPA because most people don't have a lasting power of attorney. So this will take you through the process of doing that. And it doesn't you don't have to have a member of fam, of your family as a as an attorney it can be somebody it, it should be somebody you trust in the first place so a, it could be a friend um not necessarily family um but what this does is it does take you through that process i'd already done it personally because um i've been through the process with my mum who had alzheimer's so i'd kind of gone that through that process so I knew what a lasting power of attorney was for both health and for financial but let's face it most people don't do they I mean we we unless you're faced with this situation you don't really know and that's when you start to educate yourself so this is a great way um it, it makes it a lot simpler because it's daunting it really is I mean at PHA we're also looking at the care side of things um and trying to make things easier for people to navigate the process should a loved one or yourself need to prepare for future care or you know uh, old age or whatever you know it's a daunting process so MMC is great it it takes you through that and helps you to get that set up fantastic um, guys and girls, it would be absolutely wonderful if there are any questions or comments, if you could kindly raise your little yellow hand. Um, for those that don't know, there should be a button at the top bottom of your screen that will um, indicate, I, I think I it's under I reactions or something. That, um, I just noticed that June had put a note in there. What happens if you don't have a GP um, or you're not in the system? That's absolutely fine. I mean, mm -hmm. really, in the, what you want to do is put those safety nets in place should you find yourself thrown into the system. It doesn't matter if you don't have a GP. Um, if you have a GP and you want to notify them, and I just did it really as one of those, it was that just a great difference. opportunity to do that. I didn't really care if they knew or not, but um, that was the only reason, to be honest. And I, yeah. and I was really shocked when they invited me in to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gio already answered it, so I think I, I think I feel okay. I'll have it in my wallet, you know, and yeah, I'll exactly. let my son have access to everything. So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I mean, obviously, we we're very aware, aware. There's a lot of information to take in here. Um, it's not difficult, but you do have to sit and kind of wrap your head around some of it, which is why it's great Lisa's been able to take us through it. Um, another question that's just come in, uh, Lisa, I already have an LPA. Can I have a separate medical LPA with different people appointed to act on my behalf? You can have whatever you want, Rebecca, to be honest. It's, you, it's your LPA. And I already have one as well. But now I've got this one. Um, the important thing is making sure, number one, that your emergency contact knows what your wishes are. And if they can, you know, on your on your My Medical Choice profile, your LPA will be on that and it will stand in a court of law. So that's the important thing. It's all very well as doing LPAs, but we need to make sure that the people that are going to carry out are, you know, that are the attorneys know exactly what we want. And uh, in fact, I'm going to remind my husband tonight. Because um, it's really important, isn't it? We think we've got it all set up, but as long as that person knows that in that situation, you know, they may decide, well, I wasn't quite sure on that one. So it's all there. All that information is there. They've signed and witnessed it anyway, so they should know. But just, just make sure that they do, and that will stand. Fantastic. Anybody got any questions or comments or thoughts? Um, obviously, 
Uh, like I say, it's a lot to maybe take in and absorb, which is why there's some brilliant FAQs on the website, because people, I think we're all very aware that sometimes we go away and we think about something and think, oh, blast, I wish I'd asked that or thought that. Um, so it's been really, really well thought through in terms of dealing with those FAQs on the website. So even if after this you do have questions, um, please feel free to go and look at that because hopefully they will be able to answer you. Um, and worst comes to worst, just get in contact with PHA and uh, we can reach out to Lisa or Geo or one of the team um, to get the answers to you. Um, if we get stuck in the process to fill out all personal information, is there someone that we can reach? There is. That you'll find it on the website. There's a contact us. There's always somebody there that can help you if you're struggling with some of the forms. But yeah, there's there's definitely and there's also the YouTube videos, isn't there? They're really the helpful. Are brilliant. Yeah, the videos are brilliant. They re they really take you through it very well. So uh, the the other thing with that is it's done in bite sized chunks. It's done on purpose, little bits at a time, so that yeah. it's not like one huge form. Uh, you're going to look at it and think, oh my. So you fill in each little bit and it does guide you through it. And the videos created there will help you with that. So there's a whole process in place for that. So if you get stuck, go to the blog and look at the videos and you might get, uh, you will get some guidance on how to go through those bits as well. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Any other questions? We're quite open for questions and comments. Um, and in fact, we actively encourage them. Um, but like I say, <clears throat> if you think about something afterwards, don't stress, just get in contact. I, I'm um, curious to know what people think. I mean, you know, I'm blown away by this. I really do. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was actually going on about it for a, about a year into PHA, wasn't I? I kept saying every yeah. now and again, but there's my medical choice. Right? You know, but yeah. now... I just got to tell you, it's brilliant. I, I, I really do. I can't tell you the peace of mind I get from it. So um, thank you, Rebecca. It is a huge relief to know. It, it really is. You know, this is something. That's what it that, is. That, it's that is what relief. it is. It's a huge relief to know that our relief. backs are getting covered. And if that, God forbid, happens, we're not going to end up having things happen to us. You know, I mean, nothing in life is foolproof completely. But really, this is absolutely the best bet to ensure that things don't happen to you that you don't want to see happen in that situation. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, will the information about medical conditions, et cetera, be kept secret or will they be shared with the NHS? I'll let Gio answer this, but absolutely. All the information is kept completely separate, third party. It's, it, it's not known to my medical choice. Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, Gio. Yeah, basically the system is designed in such a way so that even the team in the background that control the servers, the data, they can't see this. They shouldn't be able to see this. This is personal to you, just to you. And the only people that can see it, and they can't even alter it, they can only see it, is the medical team only when they've got your code. So you, it's like, it basically, it's like, let's say something we're working on. Oh, I'm going to mention this, Lise. We've worked on a few things. One is a phone. I wouldn't say a phone app. It's like a screensaver. So you've got your mobile phone. They don't even have to log on. They can see there's going to be there's something on the screen that says, um, my medical choice, type in this uh, number or this website, and it goes straight to the site. Obviously, if they do the ice thing, they'll get contact as well. And the other thing we're working on, and excuse me, MMC, for saying it now, is the credit card. We're working on a card for your wallet, like a credit card that has all the information on uh, with the details on. So this card will have your name, um, the address, the web address, the URL they're supposed to go to, and your code that the practitioner, whoever's treating you, is going to type in. But you, these contacts are just, once they've typed in that code, by the way, like Lisa says, it straight away sends two text messages out to people so they know, hang on a minute, this code's been activated. So then they will contact that phone right away. Somebody will ring and say, what's going on? Bang, things straight away happen. The whole process is we've tried to do something or that my medical choice team have that saves time a few seconds here, a few seconds here, a few seconds here. It all adds up. And also they've got everything, like Lisa said before, they know your allergies, they know what's going on. If you've had a pacemaker, they've got everything to hand. What you've told them they've got anyway, remember, it's what you put on that form. So that's what they've got. So they can start working immediately. And they also have your medical directive of what you will and won't have. Um, regarding it uh, being kept secret from the NHS, no. The NHS can only access what you tell them to, that's all. That's all they can do. They, no, nobody can access your data other than you, not even the team in the background. So I hope that's answered that one. 
Thank you. Yeah, fantastic, Gio. Thank you. Um, I'm just checking to see. I think Lisa's been asking, answering the questions. Um, looks like there's some wonderful feedback. Um, yeah, about it coming abroad. <clears throat> we will be looking to roll this out as soon as is possible. Sorry, Lisa, do you want to jump in? Sorry, just one thing there. Um, in terms of the code, you know, I, I'm seeing some really great feedback here. People love it and they can't wait to sign up. Share the code with your friends, <laughs> with your family. Everybody can use that code for five pounds off the first year. But I, I know it's not a huge amount, but it's 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 a discount. And I think for me, this was such a gift to my family to make sure that they were covered um, in this situation that I think, you know, if you can pass it on, please do use the code. And like Catherine said, we're looking to roll this out in other countries. So um, islands on the on the list. <laughs> we're going to be there. Someone's asked if dentistry's covered. I mean, I'm assuming they mean if you've been knocked out uh, and you're unconscious, would yeah. that be covered? Or would it be yeah. a case of maybe yeah. alerting your dentist to this fact before you have a procedure? Because it's not going to be an emergency situation. It's right. not the same, is it, as if you're an A&E? You know what? You can put anything you like in your mm. ADN and your LPA. So if you want to cover dentistry, cover dentistry. But But to me, it all comes under the same umbrella, doesn't it? It, yeah. It's medical, medical treatment. So that would include dentistry. But if you want to specify that, you can specify anything in your your uh, ADN and your LPA. Yeah. Cover all bases. The beauty Absolutely. of this is, yeah. yeah. The beauty of this is you Sorry, do Jim? this. You do the beauty of all this is you're doing this when you're relaxed. Maybe you get information. You find out what you can and do and don't want. Obviously, you don't do this in a stress situation. So when you're relaxed, you have everything prepared so that when, if, if, let's go with if, not when, if anything ever happens and it's needed, it's there. If it doesn't, brilliant. At least you've got that peace of mind that you relax and think, yeah, I've sorted it. Um, yeah, that's what I'd say. So it's all about that. That's one thing it gives us is peace of mind. So And it covers whatever you want it to cover. You can put things on that form, fill it in, and yeah. The, 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 the templates are there, but you can adapt them however you want to adapt them. Yeah. June, you've got your hand up, the first yellow hand. Would you like to ask your question, my love? A thought has just occurred to me. You know how we are quite diligent in researching who owns what? Do you know the people who are behind this, who developed it personally? Or, you know, uh, where are they based? Who are they? There's no nefarious people behind them I'm sure but just to be sure I just would like to ask that question yeah no absolutely we know the people involved um it was set up as a PMA um back in the day um about three days three years ago and um it actually came from um action groups like Stand in the Park so it's a private members association um and like I say, they don't hold your data. You know, it's very, very private. Privacy is at the heart of it, to be honest. And, um, you know, only the founding members know each other personally um, and they hold administrative positions. So um, it's very safe, very confidential. It's £25 because nobody's trying to make money out of anybody. It's here to serve, and uh, there are, that's why they're absolutely aligned with PHA. Uh, and June also, they've aligned, um, we, we've partnered with them, so uh, we we trust them. We know them well enough. We've worked alongside them for long enough. We know what they're like, and so much so that we've actually partnered with them. So mm -hmm. there is that, you know, whether that's good or bad, but no, I'm joking. No, that it's reassures me stuff. absolutely. But are, are, they still a PMA? Are, they, are they still a PMA or are they? Yes, they are. They are a PMA. Yeah. yeah. And Gio and Lisa have been working on this with them for months and months and months and months. And uh, both of which are, you know, they're both 
terriers if there's something to sniff out there they have sniffed it out uh, but it's all great it's all fantastic and it is a true partnership and um you know they've helped us with stuff and we we're helping to push this out there a because they're great but b more importantly it's because this is actually fantastic and it's such a great solution and you know what we're like pha solution 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 just keep bringing the solutions and this is just another incredible solution um that we're more than happy to to share out there and get out there it's important that everyone has this um sense of comfort and security that they've, they've done everything they can to make sure them and their family are protected from anything unwanted happening to be honest, June, I'm a little bit jealous because they got in to the PMA ahead of yeah, us. At the right time. We could yeah. do. Let's be honest, we'd be doing the same thing if we could, but they managed to get bank accounts as a PMA before that loophole was tied up. So, um, yeah, 100% trust, 100%. One thing, if I can, them, so. one thing I would say on this is there's a gentleman in our group here and um he needed to go to hospital for um a heart bypass so what did he do he went to hospital he rang me from there he said can i join mmc i was like really now <laughs> at this point um so they, that's a toughie that's a big ask so i wouldn't leave it to the last minute but because yeah. we work alongside them i was dealing with their core team and we were trying to pull out all the stops doing what we can but that's not a great situation to be in and quite often a lot of people do that is when they need it all of a sudden oh i need it now and you're like, hang on a minute how do we get all the forms filled in how do we so just be wary of that so i'm not you know we're not always do your own inform that's why it's called informed medical choice you've got to research things but research it ahead of time don't wait till you're actually in there and then ring up and say right i need this now because that has happened and then we do try and help we really do but it can be tough to help at that point oh, yeah. it's the same old thing isn't it don't leave it to the last minute yeah yeah absolutely any other questions or comments guys this evening um like i say there's the faqs uh we can be contacted mmc can be contacted there's the youtube videos which are incredible for someone like me who's rubbish with this stuff and needs my hand held um it's it's very very clear um like i say even for me but any last questions or not this will is recorded and we will be putting this out over the next day or so on our channels, on our social media. Um, please do share this. Please do encourage others to watch it. Please do encourage others to go and look at the website, check our social media on it, go onto the MMC website. There is some fantastic information on there. Um, and we've pretty much covered all bases that can be covered. So um, yeah. if everyone's OK and everyone's happy, I'd like to thank everyone for coming along this evening. Big thanks to you, Lisa and Gio, as well, for making it all make sense for us and answering all the questions. And uh, we'll share the link to this recording um, over the next couple of days. But thank you very much for coming along tonight. Thank you very much.